So Jose Miranda is my guy. I am a Jose Miranda guy. If you've watched the channel for a while, you know that. I'm a big fan of his. Um, really got caught up with his 2021 season, starting from his Puerto Rican Winter League performance. Um, love his potential to combine both power and contact. This is a guy who has power but does not strike out a lot. Uh, again, just I'm very, very high on Jose Miranda. I like him as a ball player. So it hurts me to say this. It hurts me to have this discussion. And we kind of started this discussion a few days ago when I asked if it was time to, to mix things up, time to make a change. The Twins decided to do that in regard to Trevor Larnick. Uh, with Alex Kirloff available, and it's starting to feel like this is an inevitability. Now, with Jose Miranda, with a couple of other guys becoming available soon, soon-ish, we'll put it that way. Um, so Miranda, a tough series. If you, if you missed it today on Sunday, the Twins lost 2 to nothing. Um, Jose Miranda had a really ugly game in the field on Saturday. He had a, a, another bad game at the plate on Sunday. Um, he's just overly aggressive. He is not nearly as patient as he needs to be he's clearly pressing i think he's clearly having some confidence issues right now this reminds me he does not look himself and this reminds me a ton of uh, when he first came up with the twins and struggled before you know he had that mini send down where he didn't actually get sent down he, well, he got sent down but he didn't make it down before uh, an injury opened the door back up for him this is what that really reminds me of, and I, he, it feels like he needs a reset. I'm not sure exactly what um, that the best way to do that is. We're going to talk about their options. Uh, thanks for clicking on this video. This is Tom. Going to do a little, something a little bit different. We don't get enough nice days here, so got to be outside while we can. Still going to overlay plenty of highlights. We're going to also show you some of these examples I'm talking about. But again, let's go back to Saturday's game because that was... Um, that was ugly, and that was maybe, you know, what I think is happening manifested at its worst. Um, I think this guy is in his head a bit. I think he's thinking. He's thinking. You know, I think yes, I think that's bad, and that's a funny thing to say. Um, but I do think as a, as a ball player in particular, there's so much just read and react. You want to be prepared. You want to kind of feel like, again, you're just reacting to the situations naturally as they come to you by the time, you know, you're, you're actually – trying to perform and it really this is a hard thing to say looking on the outside looking in um, but it really looks like Miranda's kind of in his head and thinking th through things um, he was only credited with one error I think on Saturday but he really had multiple plays that he misplayed in the field um, could have made plays on even even if they, they were scored hits um, so you know that is uh, tough to see from a guy who's not also not hitting very well and we saw that side of his game today um, especially in the second inning. In the second inning, Cal Quantrill was inviting the Twins to take take the game back from Cleveland, that, who had just built the lead in the bottom of the first inning. Um, Cal Quantrill hits Byron Buxton. He gives Alex Kirilov a four-pitch walk. So this is clearly a guy kind of struggling with his command. And then he walks Joey Gallo. Uh, albeit he's he's looking like he's getting closer. He's, he's kind of working himself closer in that Gallo plate appearance. Miranda comes up. He does take the first pitch um, to get ahead in the count, but then he swings at a, a ball that's up and in. It was a strike, so it's not like he was swinging at a terrible pitch there, but pops that out. Um, Nick Gordon grounds into a double play next, so the Twins leave the bases loaded there. And this is a game, again, they lost 2 to nothing. So, I mean, that was kind of – obviously – Every ball game has so many things that could have happened and would have, could have. But if you kind of really want to focus on one thing, uh, that was a thing there from this game. And I do want to make it clear we are going to pick on Jose a lot. I don't want to make it seem like he's the only scapegoat, um, the only reason why the Twins are playing a little bit below where we would like to. Um, there's other things going on. There's other guys underperforming. But uh, Miranda is certainly one of the guys that... Uh, that stands out the most, and I think the, it's easy to look at him because it's it's easy to fix this problem, I think. Um, and if we look at his other plate appearances from today, they were also pretty poor, and I'll show those. Uh, I'll, I'll overlay those here, but he, again, he was swinging at pitches outside of the zone. Um, he was attacking pitches that are not his pitches to hit. Uh, he struck out. Uh, just not a good look from him, and I think if you watch him at the plate, and I think if you've seen a lot of this guy play, 
um, it's easy to say like he's he's not confident he's not he's not feeling it right now and luckily the twins have an opportunity to turn elsewhere um, especially in the upcoming days here Kyle Farmer who will also show you some highlights of here is coming back you know he had that very scary injury where he got hit by a pitch in the mouth um, but he seems to be you know, you kind of wonder on a mental aspect of how a guy's going to come back from that very scary thing that happened. Um, he's been looking comfortable, looking good on his rehab assignment. He had a home run for the Saints today. He was playing third base for the Saints today, which I don't think was a coincidence. Um, May made a nice play in the field, but May didn't make a play uh, in the field as well on an infield hit to uh, a catcher. Brian Navarretto, former Twins prospect, by the way, still around, beat out a, an infield single. Maybe it was a positioning thing. Um, but Farmer was playing back, which I think was uh, part of why that, that got beat out. But also, you could have got a lot more on the throw. Anyway, I do think Farmer is an upgrade over Miranda at third base defensively, but I don't think it's a huge one. Offensively, I think Miranda's upside is much, much higher than Farmer's at the plate. But Farmer does bring some interesting skills to you at the plate because uh, he crushes lefties, absolutely crushes lefties over his career. And, I mean, these are career numbers we're looking at. So it's not like we're talking about a, a small sample size thing, a couple seasons. Farmer's also been really good, like, in clutch situations, you know, two out runners in uh, scoring position situations, things like that. Um, Farmer's really excelled at over his career. So I think he is a guy that kind of, um, um, when, 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 when push comes to shove, when it's a situation where you need to have a guy put together a good plate appearance, um, he can do that. Kind of some, somewhat similar to Christian Vasquez in that, you know, these aren't guys who you're going to expect to carry your lineup, but these are veteran guys who've shown that they can deliver maybe more than, than usual in those spots. They, they can take a step above their kind of baseline in those uh, pressure situations, late and close situations, runners in scoring position situations, and the Twins need a boost there. Kyle Farmer seems like a guy who's been pretty good in those situations. Um, so what are we talking about here? Are we talking about flipping Miranda for Farmer full-time? I think that's certainly on the table. I don't think you want to take that off the table. I'm not sure that that's necessary, and I'm also kind of not sure that you really need Nick Gordon, Willie Castro, and Kyle Farmer all in the active roster for the same t at the same time. Um, so even though like Farmer and Miranda do not make for natural platoon mates um, since they're both right-handed hitters, um, I think you could to try to take some pressure off of Miranda to try to give him some off days. Maybe you know, have him work on some stuff in the cage when you activate Farmer, which probably should be uh, this upcoming week. He looks like he's pretty ready. Uh, maybe you just sort of split time with him, and Miranda does and just end up being on the bench a little bit more. And that's sort of you, you're giving him a mental break. If you, wanna, if you want a reason to get excited about the potential future of third base, and you're kind of down on Jose Miranda at the moment, uh, we got some great news about Royce Lewis from Doe Young Park of MLB.com. Uh, Royce is going to be coming on a, an official rehab assignment. He's been playing in extended spring training games. He will be joining Double A on an official rehab assignment, focusing on playing shortstop and third base. Um, so it, uh, and I, they're going to ramp him up. It's going to be slow. They're not going to want to push him. Um, but he is a, when you're thinking about the long-term future of third base, even for this season, Royce Lewis is in the picture here and could be a guy that they turn to as the guy there potentially down the road. So um, I think that's a huge silver lining here when we look at this roster and consider these things. You know, just want to mention too, Miranda was, he had the best 50 game stretch of any Twins hitter last year. So I don't think this is a guy you need to give up on. I'm certainly not giving up on him. Um, I, I think the future is still very bright for him. He's only 24 years old. And if you're looking for an example of a guy who needed a send down, who benefited from a send down, um, I can tell you one off the top of my head, Torrey Hunter. Torrey Hunter played a full season, much like Miranda, he played basically a full season and then came back, was poor, had a poor start to the year. I think it was in late May. Uh, not early May, that he was sent down, went down to AAA and absolutely destroyed AAA for like two months and then was came back to the Twins and, you know, that he was the Tory Hunter from then on, basically. Um, so I, And he was 24 at that time. In that same season that Tory needed to send down, he was 24. Uh, Miranda is in his age 24 season now. 
Um, so I could see that kind of being just what the doctor ordered. I think, you know, I don't know. It's really hard to say, again, from the outside looking in, maybe they've put too much on him. You know, trading away Gio Urshela, really making third base his role to lose. Um, maybe that's bit put. he's put too much pressure on himself to become the guy. Um, I don't know. That's hard to say, but I think that, that, that could be what's going on here. It could be part of the picture that's going on here. Maybe he wasn't quite ready for that, and, and that pressure is starting to get to him as well. And if we think about it, may, maybe that's sort of what turned, the, turned things around from him last year because, again, he was demoted, and then when he came back after that and kind of had a second life, maybe he was sort of play, feeling like he was playing with house money at that point. Like, ah, I'm not even supposed to be here right now. So, you know, how, how, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll not play well and I'll get sent back down, but I was supposed to be down there anyway, you know. I think the, the door is open for Royce either way at this point. Um, unless Miranda can really start to, to catch fire, um, I think we're going to see later in the year Royce Lewis have a pathway to take third base if, if, he, can, if he can take advantage of that opportunity. Um, and that, that's sort of the, the double sting of Miranda is this maybe felt like his window to establish himself at this position. And if he can't do that, he may not have another window because, you know, I know a lot of other people have asked about Brooks Lee. I don't think Brooks Lee is an option at third base right now for the Twins, and I don't think he should be because, again, you got Farmer coming back. You have Royce Lewis probably not too, too far behind him there, and I think both of those guys deserve a look before you turn to Lee. So I think we're at a point where I certainly support a change. I don't think they should be running Miranda out there as the primary third baseman every day, but I'm not – I'm not sure on what the best thing is right now, immediately, um, with Farmer coming back. What? So I want to know what you think. Would you kind of do that uh, sort of split at third base, where you know you just get you're giving Miranda some more days off, and and maybe him and Farmer are splitting time there, or would do you think Miranda should get sent down, um, or should should the thing stay status quo? You know, again, this guy is 24. Maybe he is just working through some stuff. Um, you know, let, let me know. I think there's not a wrong answer here. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you to all the channel members for being a sponsor. And here are the premium members listed here. We'll talk again soon.